everybody in this video i'm going to be talking about how you can enable emit inside of react so that you can code faster so here i'm just going to show my screen and as you can see i've just created a react app by using npx create react app and here what i will do i'm just going to save it so what emit is it's basically it basically allows you to write code faster so here for example if i want a h1 instead of doing this h1 right instead of doing that if i have emit what i can do is just do h1 and then hit tab right now i haven't enabled it because i'm going to show you how to enable it in this video and also if you want a class name for example this you can just do a dot and whatever the class name is. I'm just going to do test. And if you also want an ID, you can just do a hashtag and whatever the ID is. So like H1, for example. Okay, so this um, can be used for any component, not just a H1. So if I do span, it also works. So now I'm going to show you how you can enable this. So what you need to do first is just go over here to settings and then just click this settings option. And now just search for emit, like so. So you should see this emit include languages. And what you need to do is just hit add item and the key should be JavaScript and the value will be JavaScript React. Hit okay. And now go back to app.js and if I type in H1 and hit tab, as you can see, it auto completes for me. Now, if I want a H1 dot, which will basically do a class name, um, I can just do test, hit enter or tab. And now if I also want an ID, H1, like so, it works, right? So this not only works for H1, but any other component. So if I do span, span dot i don't know test again then it works so now if you want a div you can do either div like this div dot whatever test then you can just hit tab or you can do dot test just like this and that will also do the same thing so you can use this for any other component that you want so here, just for showing you an example, I'm just going to create a h1 dot header. And also for the text, you can just do these curly brackets and put whatever text you want. So let's just say, hello, this is a test or something like that. And then just go to the end and hit control shift P and emit expand abbreviation. And as you can see, it's like this, it's done. So now if I want, I can create like a div and I'm sorry, dots. And then I can just do content like so. And then inside of here, I don't know, we will have a P tag with a class of hello, hello, hi, hey. And then the text, I'm just going to do Hey there, anything like that. Now just hit tab and as you can see, it has all three of the class names. And you can do this for any other component again. So if I do span dot test and I can just do hello or anything that you want. And again, control shift P and boom. Now I'm just going to hit save. And here I've just done npm start and like that. So it says hello, this is a test and all of the other stuff. So that's basically how you use emit inside of React. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.